Sup nerds, today we're going to be doing some Shine Greymon gaming on the DC Geo Sim. Here is the deck we're going to be using. I'll be putting an export in the pinned comment below, and I'll also just do a brief deck profile at the end of the video. But let's get to it. All right, who's going to be our first victim? So this is kind of a combination of Ruin Mode Turbo and uh, the more aggressive Shine variants. Um, I'm actually trying out not playing any memory boost or trainings, um, just to make room for everything that I want to make room for. Hopefully it works out for us, but we'll see. Uh, but the point of this is to ruin mode lock your opponent like one, once or twice, and then uh, kill them with all the lethal cards that you have. You can play with Shine. Unfortunate that we don't have a level four, but hopefully we draw one for turn. It's not like we're in danger of dying when they promote the Ukomon. What the hell? Oh, okay. So this is red hybrid. Okay. Interesting. So this is an aggressive deck, but a ruin mode will stifle their turns pretty quickly. Oh, word. Okay, okay. I wonder if he's going to swing at us and risk giving us access to another tamer. Nice. Hmm. I guess I'll take it. At least he dies. Hmm. Alright, that is unfortunate. Do I even promote? Ugh. I think I prom... Man, this sucks. Not having a level 4. I legit think I need to promote and swing. Ugh. I'm not gonna swing out. Uh, I'm just gonna swing with Agu. I kinda just wanna play this Agu, just to choke him to one. I think that's safe, if I'm not mistaken. I guess they could be playing um, Grav Crush, but other than that, I think we're okay. This is certainly awkward. Oh. Lol, that's what I get for not reading that card. I forgot that it gains you a memory. Yes, I should have hard passed. Oh well. Oh, let's go. Okay. Well, I just stole a memory right back. We'll take those. Rather be lucky than good. All right, sick. Okay, which one are you gonna add? All right, the old ancient. All right, level, okay. Damn, this sucks. Ugh. There is not a way to choke him to one, is there? Mm -mm. Man, this sucks. I'm just gonna swing here. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I think we just lost. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to hard play this. Unfortunate that we just did not see level 4. That, that does happen in this deck. Um, that's why I normally play memory boosts in it, but... Uh, it hadn't been doing this. Oh, okay. I mean, I think this is just game, right? Gonna Evo into Ancient. Oh. Not big enough. That's pretty funny. Yeah, he gets to gain a memory, but that doesn't really... Yo, am I actually gonna pull this back? It's possible. Yeah, he gets to play a guy for free, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, this guy just searches. We definitely are being bailed out by, a secure, by our security uh, so far, which is pretty nice. All right, what are they gonna do to pass turn is the question. Hmm. Okay. There's the Grav Crush. So they are playing it. Mm, that's unfortunate. 
I think that means they raid into our Rise and Ancient away our Agu while hitting us for big damage because they do have piercing. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Um. I don't think I would, do I do I want to try to kill them? Uh, are they playing aces? Hmm. So I swing there. I think I can just kill them. Yeah. Uh. So I swing. Use his effect. Oh. Evo into this shine. Uh, kill this guy to play around any aces they might have. Two checks for 6k, or 12k effective actually. And we got the first check in, so we're, I think we just win. Wow. It is nice having win conditions. Yep. GG's. Let's go, we got bailed out. That definitely wasn't the most ideal way to win, but hey, we take those. We played to our outs. All right, who is up next? All right, this is a much better hand. Opening BT12 Agu is, with another rookie in your hand, is always really good. Especially going first, this is going to be good. So I have added in some of the new stuff, but not really a lot of it. I think I've added one of the new Geos and three of the new Rises. Uh, the new rise is pretty cool. Ooh. Um, yeah, I think I just want to add that and that. Uh, the new rise is pretty cool because it basically serves the same function as BT2 Shine, where it suspends your tamers at will um, without having to swing with them, which is really cool. So you can, like, once you get set up, you can, like, turbo up into uh, ruin mode even quicker, which is pretty cool. And it has the inheritable where. Uh, where one of your Marxes gets deleted. What am I playing against? Oh, okay, this is just like... Is this Bloom? Okay, well, Ruin Mode goes dummy hard on Bloom. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay in the back. Uh, and then I will just do this. I will obviously play a Tamer for free. Hmm... Curious if they have enough set up to do stuff or they need another turn. I would like to see another ruin mode. Alright, they're gonna do stuff. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm assuming this is Bloom. They play an Agitar Mon and like Sunflower Mon. This has to be Bloom, right? Uh, so we do need to watch out for Quartz Mon. Yep. Yeah. We're just gonna watch this guy touch himself for a couple minutes. Yeah, pop in the training. He's going into Agitar. He's gonna suspend this guy. I'm assuming to play another 3k or lower plant or vegetation or fairy or whatever. Uh let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, I think they if they have it, they can go into Bloom without passing turn. So I'm pretty sure he gains for every suspended Digimon. So like they suspend here with the Agitar effect, play another guy, and then Evo into Bloom for four, suspend this guy, and then gain back three memory after gaining back a memory. Oh, or I guess they can do that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm, nothing too crazy in there. Okay, so they're gonna... What category are they gonna declare? Did... Did they declare tamers? Hold on. Does it tell me what they... I literally don't know what category they declared. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what we can do. No. Uh, we'll do this. Alright, 
It's unfortunate that there is no longer a tamer in our security. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Is that enough to kill you? Minus three, minus three, minus one. So it's minus seven. It's not enough to kill him. Hmm. That's fine, though. Um. Yeah, I might as well just kill the sunflower when I can. Uh, no reason not to. I'll Evo into shine. Curious what they're gonna do now. Okay. Grand Galemon. I'm assuming this is just their side mega. Um, Cause like, that's not really a win condition. This thing doesn't really do anything besides sit there and be annoying. Yeah, I guess they know that there's, I don't remember there being level seven in there. Okay. All right, yeah, so they're playing Paladin and Quartz. They added neither. Oh, I don't think they can add those. Lol. What did they declare? Uh, I don't know what they declared. I'm assuming they probably declared Digimon. Yeah, there's no real reason not to. Uh, so I can try to ruin mode them. I mean, it swings over them, I guess. Let's see if this affects them. Nope. Okay. So they did declare Digimon effects. Hmm. Do I want to swing for two? Yeah, I'll go ahead and just go for ruin mode. I can try to swing over them. We'll see. They obviously could have a paladin mode out, but it's fine. Let's see. Okay, they don't have a paladin mode in hand. Alright, so they're minus 10k. Um, I guess I'll just choke them to one, huh? Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully they try to hard play something. Because there's no, like, UI that... Uh, that tells you that you're minus 10k on your field. It is really annoying that it doesn't tell you what category they picked with the uh, quantum on now. It just says they picked one. They should probably add that. That would be nice. I wonder if that's a known bug. It's not a really commonly used card. Um, that's interesting. I guess they just uh, forgot already. Uh, I'll stay in the back. Um, I will go ahead and Evo here. Play you out, and then I will do this, and I will play you out, and I will suspend you, choke you to one, draw a card. Alright, can I lethal on the next turn? I think I can if I top deck another BT12 shine. Okay, sick. Alright. So we're going to gain a memory and then pay it back. Okay. So if I swing here... Hmm. I can Evo into Shine. I can bounce that. Yeah, that's probably... Well... Hold on. I don't want to draw cards. Big Thonk. I think I'd rather draw more cards here. All right, swing on them. Draw a card. Draw a card. 
Uh, them not having a rookie is really bad for them. Um, all right, we're gonna Evo here into Shine. Suspend our Marcus. Gain a memory. Uh, one check at 3k. Oh, we survive. That's pretty cool. Uh, then I'm gonna do this. Burst. Bounce the Marcus. Okay, they scooped. Uh, was that game? So we swing, trash one, check one. Yeah, that was lethal. If we dodge all removal out of their security. Let's go. As you can see, it's uh, working well so far. All right, uh, we're going first. I kind of want to hard play the Agumon going first here. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. I should probably should, not just Evo Evo. Tempted to hard play it, but I don't think that's smart. If he could search other Agumons, I would hard play him, but... All right, Evo for zero. And Evo for two. Let's see what we're playing against. Okay, so we at least have a tamer we drew into. What you got? You gonna hatch? You gonna do something? Our opponent's AFK. I'm looking forward to when they add the uh, the timer on here. Because I know a lot of people complain about this. Like, They could have gotten DC'd or something like that. Or where their stuff's not working. But a lot of people just like sit there and just wait for you to quit. It's so weird. I'm going to give them another minute and then I'm leaving. Oh my god, they hatched. It only took them not two and a half minutes. Okay, so it's a bunny base. Okay, this will tell us a little bit about it. All right, so far we've just seen rookies. Um, is promoting here smart? I give them two memory. I think we'd be okay. I'm assuming they're playing like rapid mods and stuff, so I'm just trying to think if they could actually out our stuff. Yeah, I am gonna promote. It's unfortunate this is the BT2 rise, otherwise we could choke them to one, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, play this. I don't think they can kill our rise with two memory without like a removal option or something. Could be wrong though, we'll see. See how long it takes them to promote on this turn. Oh, they did something. Okay, so they played a Willis. It took them a while to do that. Alright, that's cool. Uh, so we can choke them to one, but does that really benefit us? Oh no, we can ruin mode them. Lol, that's not true. <laughs> we gain a memory off that. Uh... Yeah, I think giving them four memory and ruin moding them is probably fine. Especially since we don't really have an option to do much else. Let's draw a card. Okay, it's decent. Hopefully we have a Marcus in our security. Question is, is do I swing first? I think the answer is no. <clears throat> I don't want to risk dying to a Mega or something random in security. I'd rather just guarantee ruin modem. I'm curious if they're going to promote. Okay, they didn't. <laughs> Smart. They at least know what ruin mode does. Okay, so they're just setting up. Yeah, so they're playing Gargo and stuff. Yeah, this just looks to be like kind of standard bunnies. I don't really know if there is a standard, but... Okay. So we do have to be wary of Rapid X. Uh, I'll go ahead and gain a memory here. Question is, do I swing with Ruin Mode first? Hmm. So I can Evo here and then Evo. I can keep turn and see more cards. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully there's a Marcus in security, that'd be pretty cool. Yay. 
Uh, so we can do some pretty neat things. Uh, so I'm gonna do this. Use his effect. Suspend this Marcus. Draw some cards. It would be ideal if we can see another ruin mode. Uh, or a, um, a burst mode would be cool too. Uh, do I want to swing and do that first? I think I do. Uh, swing. Use the effect. So spin the Marcus. This is kind of what this uh, lets you do, which is pretty cool. Evo here. Into shine. Yep. Big damage. Swing on him. Okay. Alright, and then I will Evo down here. So they're minus 5k on their fields. Dang. Was really hoping. Uh, yeah, I'll just set up for next turn. If they kill this uh, shine, it's not a big deal. Can they even kill it? So it's rapid, which is 11. What are their inheritables? Uh, nothing. Okay. I'm curious if they're going to like trigger their double typhoon and do stuff. If they don't respond to my board, I just kill them next turn. So it's up to them. If they just chill in the raising area. Yeah, so they can't double typhoon anything out because it'll just die. If they rapid me, it'll be 6k. It'll minus me by 4, so it's still... They couldn't even kill me with rapid. Uh, rapid X, I should say. Um, they could, I'm trying to think what they could even do. I don't know what's in their hand. They could make a Gargome, I guess. Um, but I think I could still, looking at my hand, yeah, I could still blow up their, I could blow up their Mega Gargo, um, if they did that. With just what I have on the field. And in my raising area, without not even counting my shine. Okay. So they are evoing into something. Let's see what it is. We also have an advantage because if they use the starter deck uh, level 5 rapid mon, um, it doesn't get around DP reduction, so we can just nuke it. Which evo and into. Okay, so they do have rapid X, which is fine. Yeah, so they get to evo for 1 into rapid X, but they're still not bigger than we are. That will make it awkward for us on our next turn. Uh, they're only going to be 11k though. Let me look at, see what I have here. Yeah, I should be able to kill them before even swinging. So I think we'll be okay. What you gonna do? There's really nothing you can do. I mean, you can even own a quartz mon, but that doesn't really help you. Interesting. That does kill my shine, so good for you. Okay. All right, so that wasn't too bad of a play. Uh, yeah, I am gonna do this. Uh, the question is, is do I want to use my Marcus? I have to think through this turn. Because I have to kill that rapid before I swing with Marcus or it just isn't gonna do anything. And I do need to be aware of Mega Gargo. So, what are my inheritables? Uh, just minus a thousand. Ah, uh, it sucks. I wish I had BT2 Shine. Have I seen any? Just one. Hmm. Uh, big Thonk. I will not use it. Unfortunate. I'm gonna have to see what we can get here. Ideally, we rip a BT2 Shine off this. That'd be kind of cool. Let's draw a couple cards. So, yes, there we go, baby. Ruin mode? Okay. Um, uh, so I guess we kill Cherub. Because that'll give us memory back, and then we could figure out what else we want to do. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, let's just go here. Uh, here. Here. Uh, let's go here. All right. Ruin mode would be cool. No ruin mode, Sag. Uh, I guess we'll take a rise. We don't need another shine yet. And let's see what we have. Hmm. So the problem is they could wrap at us again. And that would be a bit of a problem. Certainly much I can do about it though. I can't even kill that guy. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, best we can do is choke into one. If they have another Rapid X, uh, it's probably going to be bad for us. Hopefully they don't have one though, we'll see. Mega Garga wouldn't be a big deal because it would at least um, pass turn and we could figure it out from there. Hmm. Surprised we haven't seen more of the BT-17 rise. Okay, so they're playing somebody for free. Interesting, okay. I'm completely fine with this one being played. Hmm. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen another. We're playing three ruin modes. There must be some insecurity. Because I think we've seen our entire deck, maybe, or close to it. I can't remember if we revealed on off the search or not. This dude is taking forever. Who are you giving alliance to? Okay. I'm assuming they're going to alliance with the Rapid. I think that would make the most sense. Because if they alliance with the Lopmon, um, they could 100% die to security checks. Because, like, they died to BT-12, Shine, as well as all my level 7s. Which, now that I mention it, I haven't seen any. Who are you suspending? Yes, I understand. Who are you suspending? Please suspend the Lotmon, so you can die. They would just armor purge, so I mean, they would still get the two checks out of it. But they could, they'd probably die to the check after that too. Let's see, how many of my Marcuses? Okay, so that's, that is what they're trying to do. Okay, they survived the first check. Let's try the second one, that's fine. Uh, so I have all of my BT-13 Marcus is accounted for. And there's two BT-12 Marcuses somewhere in my deck. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to ruin mode them. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, this clears my board. Ugh. Yeah, they go to two. That's unfortunate. I think we might have lost this. Uh, depends on what they do. I think we can set up and potentially not die on the next turn. That's on a memory setter, okay. What's this guy do? Okay, so we can still choke them to one. All right, so we are just going to set up a maximum DP reduction. And an Evo here. Uh, Evo. Hmm. Do I play Marcus and kill the Lotmon? I just realized I can't choke them in a one because I didn't. I needed to pay one memory for this. Hmm. 
But if I do that, why have I not seen any of my BT-17 rises? Uh, it's so annoying. It's only, I'm playing three. There's two unaccounted for somewhere. So if I Evo there, uh, I can choke them to one with a Marcus, but that doesn't really accomplish anything. I think I'd rather kill the Lopmon. Uh, that's so annoying. If I had known that, I would have uh, used this one. I can, no, that doesn't work. I mean, I guess it's fine. Nah, I, I can't risk it, right? No, because then I'm hoping a top deck. God, this sucks. Well, hopefully they can't kill me. We'll see. Yep, there it is. So we would have seen it. Yeah, we would have. All right, hopefully we don't die, but we'll see. Uh, so this guy lets you Evo into... Uh, okay. Hmm. This is only opponent's Digimon, right? Yeah. I don't think they can kill us. They can put us to zero security, but I don't think we're dead. Yeah. You can Evo for one. It's fine. And if they check, well, never mind. All of our BT13 Marcuses are accounted for. Yeah, where are our level sevens? We're playing five, and we've only seen one. Yeah, I should be able to clear their board next turn, but I'm just worried about like killing them. Uh, this guy's taking forever. Surprising. Who did who did he give alliance to? I wasn't even paying attention. He gave the Gargamon alliance? Why? I guess it doesn't really matter if you're gonna if he's gonna give himself jamming. Sky. Years, dude. Years. Yeah, they're going to put us to zero security, but should be able to stabilize on our next turn. Yeah, there's second ruin mode. So there's only one Ruin mode and two Shine Greymon Burst modes left. I could potentially, if I if I see Shine Greymon Burst mode, I think I might be able to kill them. Are you gonna swing? Like, what are you thinking about, man? They're not attacking with their Rapidmon. That's weird. Dog. Uh, yeah, we're not using that. So there has to be one burst mode in our deck. Because we only have one security left and we haven't seen either one. Uh, who all are we going to be able to kill here? I don't think it's all of them. It's going to be quite a few, though. Uh, let's see here. So this is six... Um, I think I focus on these guys because Gargo, Mega Gargo can't even on top of him, so I can just ignore him. Uh, so we'll go four, uh, four, four, or four here. And then uh, three here. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, so this is eight. So three here. Uh, two here. Two here. And one. And I can swing into him. If he aces me, he just dies, right? He doesn't have... Yeah. Um, it will just armor purge. Um, but I can play this. It would give them a little bit of memory, but is it worth it? No, it would only give them three memory. I think it'd be okay. It's hard to say. That's crazy that we haven't seen either of our burst modes. Yeah, a ruin mode or burst mode would have gone so hard here. Yeah, they're clearly thinking about acing. Are they doing the math? Oh my god, they are. They are! Yes, free memory! Uh, that helps a lot. Because I think we can kill him now. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to scoop here. I don't understand how they could have sat there that long and didn't realize that they were just going to die and give me four memory. Thanks? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you got it, dude. Are you going to unsuspend too? Just so you can die? You're just wasting so much time, dude. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I can kill them. So I go Agu, Geo. Yeah, we're good. Agu. Yeah, come here. Uh, Geo. Oh, finally. They do exist. We go three here. Okay, so both of them were in our deck. That's good to know. Uh, play this guy. This guy will suspend. And we will kill that guy and choke you to one. And I don't think you can do anything with two memory. Your turn. God, that took forever. Oh, they have three memory, okay. So they can warp into Mega Gargo, right? What, what are the requirements? Gargo Rapid. Oh, never mind, okay. I think we just have lethal, don't we? Um, yeah, I think we do. Uh, what do we have here? This has two checks. Yeah, unless they have something that stuns us, uh, we should just kill them next turn. Ah, this is taking forever. Years, years, years. Oh, I thought they were hard playing that. I mean, it would have been better than probably evoing and raising. I guess they could be relying on security, but I don't think it's gonna matter, right? Yeah, use. Okay, so we use that. We're going to burst Evo here, pick up one of these guys. Uh, we are going to play one of these guys. And then we are going to swing here. Uh, we are going to Evo into this guy. Yeah, I don't think it matters what they have in security. And now we trash the top. This will check two at like a billion. Um, so like the Marcus swings for two. This burst mode swings for two. Um, I don't think it matters what their security is. We can also burst mode them again. Yeah, that's just game. G... Jeez. Finally. 
Let's go. Alright, I just tried several times to get another match, but uh, DCGO wasn't having it, so. so we're gonna go ahead and just do the deck profile. So we're playing four BT12 Coromons. Uh, this is when one of your uh, yellow, red, or tamers, yellow or red tamers become suspended, minus 1000 DP. Uh, four Agumon EX4, uh, four BT13 Agus, and four BT12 Agus. Uh, the best one in the deck by far is BT12. I wish you could play 12 of this thing. Uh, search is top four for your Greymons and your Marcuses. Really, really good. Uh, this one is the second best in my opinion. Um, it gives you an extra memory at the beginning of your main phase, and then the inheritable is draw one whenever your tamers get suspended. It helps you dig into your deck for all your pieces. But this is also really good, the BT13 Agu, uh, for game shots, uh, because you can just main uh, turn one of your Marcuses into Digimon. So like you can swing out, and you'll probably have like one or two BT13 Marcuses sitting there. And if you have three memory, you can just hard play them, turn one of them into Digimon, and just swing pretty cool and then we're playing four ex4 uh, geos uh this is my second favorite geo probably um and it, it literally has the same effects as the ex4 agu and then we're playing one of the limited bt13 geos uh this one's okay it's kind of hit or miss like if you know if you've already recovered into marcus's it's good but just yolo evoing into it never really feels great i mean you do hit on it occasionally but uh the fact that this is limited isn't really a big deal i don't think i would play four even if that we're at for uh four bt12 geos definitely my favorite one uh evoing into this guy to play your first geo for or first marcus for free is really powerful and we're playing one bt17 geo this is really just because we want to play 10 level fours and there's not really a better one to play um the only other one i would even consider playing is probably the bt2 geo which doesn't really have an effect that's uh super relevant um, this is nice though, you can swing with this guy and suspend one of your tamers at will. So you can swing with him, Evo, like force B BT12 Marcus to suspend, and then Evo into level 5 for free, and potentially Evo into this guy. This guy will suspend another Marcus potentially, and you could like warp up into something. Um, but that's not going to happen unless you've already had like a bunch of them on the field. That's why we're only playing one, um, but it can come up something to be aware of. We're playing four BT-13 Rise, uh, best Rise in the deck, plays Marcus for free. Um, it's its effect and it's inheritable are the same thing. It lets your Marcuses recover when they're deleted, really powerful effect. And also you can get your on plays, um, which is nice. So you can always play this Marcus uh, for negative one memory, which is cool. We're playing two BT-2 Rise. Uh, this is still a really good card in my opinion. Um, it gives you an extra security check in addition to playing Marcuses for free, which I think is really good. Um, you do not get your on play. Uh, that's the only downside of this, but it's not really a big deal, especially if you're only playing the BT12 Marcus off of it since it doesn't have an on play. Then we're playing three BT17 Rise. Uh, this guy's really cool because, um, as you guys saw, like you can suspend two tamers potentially the turn you Evo into him if you like keep turn. And also the fact that he can suspend any of them is really good because you can Evo into him. And if you already have like one of these on the field, you can suspend him to gain a memory. Um, and then you can swing, suspend this. Uh, Evo into one of your Megas for free. A uh, really good card. It just requires some setup. That's why I'm not maxing it out because uh, you really need to have Tamers on the field already before you go into them. Um, and he has the same inheritable as the BT13 Rise, which is really powerful, the recovering if they're deleted. Then we're playing three BT12 Shine. Uh, this guy is your win button. He's your win condition along with the burst modes. Uh, he gives all of your Marcuses an extra check in addition to giving them an additional 3k. And the turn you Evo into him, you can minus DP on your opponent's Digimon and security. Really good. And then we're playing three BT2 Shine. This is really helpful for, like, in, for instance, whenever we're playing against that Rapid X player. If we weren't able to suspend our Marcuses with other effects, if we tried to turn them into Digimon and swing, they would just die and it just would have stolen turn from us because they had two rapid X's on the field. But if you Evo into this shine, he suspends all of your tamers, or all of your yellow tamers, and then you minus his 4k for each, and then you get all of your other effects. And if you suspend one of these, you can Evo into a burst mode or a ruin mode for free, which is really good. Um, he's really good at board wiping. Previous iterations, I was playing four of him, but I decided to go a 3-3 split here uh, just to give ourselves a chance to just kill people. Because uh, ruin mode only works for so long, and as soon as you like whiff on a piece of your line, if you're ruin moding them every turn, you will just get um, bopped by whatever they're doing. Is because they're basically you're just trying to hold back a flood, and as soon as you let go of it, they're going to be able to come through and do stuff because they've just been setting up with trainings and tamers and stuff while you're ruin moding them. Uh, we're also playing two burst modes. This guy lets you win out of nowhere as well. Uh, really powerful card. Um, trashes the security when one of your tamers is suspended. 
Um, what's what's cool about him is you can actually swing with this Marcus, Evo into this off the Marcus effect, and then you can play this Marcus off the effect. And even though this Marcus is a Digimon and can swing, if they have one security, you can trigger this Marcus on play, suspend it, and this guy will trash the security, and then this will just be a lethal check. Um, something cute that you can do. Then we're playing three ruin modes. Uh, we do want to see it, because um, we do want to ruin mode lock our opponent out of the game for like one or two turns while we set up our lethal play. Um, that's Three feels like the right number for that. And then we're playing four BT13 Marcus. Pretty good card. We're not playing any of the new one. Um, I think in this version, uh, the new one doesn't really serve a good purpose. I think you would need to be playing the new Shine if you were playing the new Marcus. And since we're not doing that, we're not playing the new Marcus. Uh, this guy is just going to always give us an extra memory when it's suspended. Minus 3k on something. It really helps our Shine plays, our BT12 Shine plays, or BT2 Shine plays, I should say. Um, because it basically every one of these is 7,000 DP minus. And then in addition to your inheritables and stuff, like you, as you guys saw, like you can wipe pretty much an entire board. Like if we had seen Ruin Mode on that turn, we could have cleared their entire board. Um, and we're playing uh, four BT12 Marcus, best Marcus in the deck. Um, really, really good, insanely broken. People were calling for this card to get limited back when this deck was really meta. Uh, for good reason. He turns himself into Digimon at the beginning of main phase if you have an Agumon or Geo in play, or a Grandmon in play, I should say. And then he can swing, and then when he's suspended, you can Evo into a yellow Greymon for free. That's our entire deck. Um, so Evoing into Ruin Mode for free, Burst Mode for free, any of these guys, just really, really good. But that is it for the deck. If you guys have any questions, anything I didn't address, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content when you come back for more. But until next time, see ya.